all right guys welcome back thank you for joining first off welcome to the channel welcome back if you like what you're seeing comment subscribe um you know do the damn thing um but like comment subscribe turn the notification bell on uh, there is a lot of content that's going to be coming out in regards to these types of things um today what we're going to be chatting about is coaching and um does it make sense me coming from a sports background it always made sense in sports is this like a sport and i want to share with you guys that yes it is you know and, and what we want to review today is we want to review if it makes sense to actually get a coach especially a high elo coach to help you grind does it make sense to have somebody walk in and teach you what to do right teach you the game show you the ropes share with you their successes and then help you fix your gameplay we're going to review this in six portions the first portion is going to be game knowledge the second portion will be price for value you know, how much do they cost and do you get value um, the third one will be their credibility which is important number four professionalism and number five mechanics and then last but not least how well they teach you to implement it into your game style right um, so those are the six aspects that we're going to review today. Today, we are reviewing detention. And he is a challenger mid laner at the time of this recording. He was actually top 80 or top 90, I believe, in the US. So top 100, just jumping right into it. Number one, game knowledge. In this particular instance, um, the coach, uh, detention, he was coaching my buddy, Toaster Man. He was teaching him mid lane. And he was sharing with them his game knowledge, right? Uh, they were playing Lux. If you guys want to refer to what I'm talking about, click the link in the description. You'll see the entire coaching session so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like if you were to purchase this service. Um, in the game knowledge aspect, there's a few things that really stood out to me. Number one, the explanation of why we do certain things. Um, in this particular coaching session, he was told to push against Warwick. He did a phenomenal job of explaining that, you know, you want to out push dark Warwick yet? because you can't, you don't really have kill potential Big Daddy dark. Um, against Warwick. Or is he just in here uh, He explained the matchup, which kind of told him, you know, hey, this is what you want to do. You want to push until you get your ult. You can out push him. And um, he gave him a lot of really good game knowledge that was directly applicable to that, to that particular game. Out push him. And once you get your ult, once you get that, that strong carry damage then you can possibly engage or maybe just shove mid and look to roam bot i think it was pretty cool to just see that you know like to to, to see that aspect right and um you know the, the average iron player is not going to think to do that i think the average player in general is going to think let's time it's time to rumble man it's time to get these fists flying and um i love that he shared that aspect of the game right it's not always being stronger than your opponents but it's sometimes out thinking them right um and he also explained, you know, what was the reason? What were we playing for? You know, are we playing to scale? Or are we playing to fight right now? Which I think helped a lot. Um, now, in regards to game knowledge, I scored him an 8 out of 10. I think he did a great job explaining a lot of different things. There are certain mechanical things that he was teaching Phil to do that he was still not too sure why he was doing it. He did explain to him afterwards, hey, this is how you want to mechanically play this right here. Um, but there were still some other things that really stood out to me, at least in the coaching session that I felt like he could have done a better job of bringing up. Right. So in that review, I give him an eight, eight, eight out of 10, uh, number two price for value. I mean, for $40 to get a coach to kick, to get coached by somebody in the top 100, do you understand the amount of time and effort it takes and the knowledge and the, and the ability to be able to get up there consistently at the challenger level to get that type of knowledge? It's extremely valuable i know in sports if some the the better someone's merits were the more that they could teach you right in my opinion people can only teach you what they've done if they haven't done it before then they can't teach you how to do it right and um i think that's one thing to be aware of you know especially when you're coach, getting advice from somebody who can potentially coach you is do their asks warrant their price or you know does it justify their price point and um in this particular case absolutely i think 40 dollars for a session the session just so you know included a previous review of games different scores that he had in the past it also reviewed his champs they did a vod review at the end of the of the person's weaknesses or the player's weaknesses the client's weaknesses and um this is kind of a bonus that he threw in there he showed the mechanical things that you can do with lux to gain an advantage uh, he showed him in this particular clip he showed him 
how to Q flash instead of flashing and then pressing Q. And he actually went into the game into a practice tool, a practice tool game to teach him the the ins and outs on how to do that. So in that in that department, I would score him a 10 out of 10. Credibility, I've already explained it to you guys. Multi-season challenger, current season challenger. And um, we've seen his skill set. He played a few normal games with us as well, too. So we've seen his skill set. His credibility is there. He knows what he's doing. 10 out of 10 in that area. Professionalism, I think he was absolutely funny. Um, he was playful, playful but stern, right? Like, huh, we're going to have fun. But like, dude, we're going to have fun when we win, which I think is important. Never flamed, and he explained things in a controlled manner, which I think is very, very important because when you're getting flamed. The last thing you want to do is listen. In fact, you probably want to do the opposite. You want to like troll, run it down, which is what happens a lot of games, right? And um, he never blamed his coaching based on the situations or the things that were happening in game. He knew exactly how to coach. He knew exactly what to say, what to do. And I think that confidence and that conviction just really showed that he knew what he was, that he knew what he was talking about, right? Um, number five, mechanics. He showed him the mechanics. He showed him how to properly push with his spells. Um, and then he showed him, like I shared with you guys in that practice tool, what to do and what not to do um, when you're playing Lux. So mechanically, I give him a 10 out of 10 as well, too. And then the implementation. He shared with him at the very end. He said, hey, if you do this and you implement these particular builds, this particular build into your gameplay and you just play the, this champion, which was Lux at the time, and he said you could do the exact same thing with Zareth. If you did this with these two champions, I guarantee you'll climb. I think that is a very clear and concise way of explaining, hey, look, this is how you're this is how you're going to scale. This is how you're going to get out of iron, right? And um, 10 out of 10 absolutely killed it in that part. So the entire review, the only thing was maybe just a little bit further explanation of the game knowledge um, out of 60 out of the potential 60 points. He scored a 58, which if I do my math right, that's an A plus. Right. So I would 100 percent recommend it, uh, his service. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to be doing the uh, the jungle coaching because he's going to be doing some jungle coaching with one of his jungle buddies. That's Challenger as well, too. And um, stay tuned if you want to see a little bit more of that. That will be probably coming next week. But if you want to see the entire review, the entire game in depth, uh, click the link in the description. I will leave it there. I will also leave uh, Detention's uh, information, his Twitch, so that you can see exactly what um, his pricing is. What his time slots would be would be and uh, you can do that by going to his twitch channel which i will link down look down below as well too uh you can message him you can send him that you saw you could say that you saw his information from this uh youtube video if you'd like or if not no big deal and um yeah reach out i think if you're gonna be playing this game if you're hard stuck you're pissed off because you're losing and i get it look i'm frustrated i get frustrated sometimes too but if you really want to change then why not why not invest a little bit back into yourself so that you can grow? That's the way that I look at it. I'd rather be better than worse. Um, I'd rather be less frustrated than more frustrated. So that's why I would recommend the service. But if you liked what you listened to today, please, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, stay posted. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe and follow my channel. I will be posting a follow up video on what to look for and how to get the best results out of a coaching session whenever you do book a challenger coach because in my opinion if you're going to be investing your hard-earned money into yourself you need to make sure that you control that that coaching session right and i'm going to be sharing with you guys there's a lot of things that i learned after this coaching session i'm going to share with you guys how to get the most out of coaching sessions and how to make sure that you can properly make sure that that's going to that's that that's going to help you level up in the game and just in general right so Anyways, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night and thanks for tuning in. Peace.